take number four. <laughs> What's up, guys? 9-11. 12 years after. 12 years ago, I was sleeping. My roommate woke me up and told me there's an accident. A helicopter or a plane, he wasn't sure which, hit the Twin Towers. It was all over the news. So I woke up, and I'm sitting on the couch, kind of like I am right now, watching the TV with him, and I saw the second plane hit. And we both knew it wasn't an accident anymore. I got to put a fucking dip in. Hang on. I can't do the pack thing, but I found that if I take the... I a little fucking video. If I take the tip of this and flick it really fast, it packs pretty good. I'm just chewing this fucking garbage. I chewed the whole can because I'm so fucking depressed today. I did... This is my fourth video. The first three, I fucking was crying, so I fucking got rid of them. Oh, my God. See, it packs pretty good. Oh, man, a little chunky there. My wife hates when I get drunk and do videos because I fucking muck up her computer. Let's get a fucking dip in, then we'll do the video. Pinch number one. Right side. Filler for the left. Black mud jug. I got dip everywhere. This shit's fucking so breaky uppy. Anyway, fuck cheap bridge, fuck kayak, fuck everything. Twelve years ago. As the song says, the world stopped turning, the fucking towers started burning. Where were you? I was getting ready to go to work. Um, I got two people I want to touch on in this video. First is my dad. Uh, my dad went to Vietnam. My dad's not the greatest dad. Um, he was not always there. He left me waiting for him on the porch many times, crying. Never showed up. Um, but he did do two tours in two tours in Nam. I got buzz on. I didn't make the weekend, so you guys know. Um, but it's not a funny junk video. It's a fucking sad junk video today. I won't say sad. I'll say reflective. Um, my dad did two tours in Nam. The first in the 101st Airborne, where he's a paratrooper, in the middle of all this shit. Um, spent three years in the 101st. Didn't come back because back then, um, when you came back to America as a veteran, people were spitting on you. People were calling you baby killer. All kinds of shit. So he re-enlisted into the 57th Engineering Division, which is kind of a cushy gig back then. He basically drove a backhoe and heavy machinery, followed Bob Hope around, built the stage, tore it down, went to the next spot. Um, as bad of a dad as he was, he's still my hero. <laughs> that dude spent five years in Vietnam. You know, that's some fucking serious shit. The second person I want to touch on is a buddy I went to grade school with and high school, but mostly grade school we were friends. Grade six, seven, eight. Um, I was kind of a big guy, like I am now. He was kind of chubbier, had glasses, and everybody picked on him. But he was the fucking nicest kid ever. That's a fucking big hog we got put in today. Everybody picked on him. My thing was, I was a pretty tough kid um, in grade school. No way he fucked with me. But they'd fuck with him. When they fuck with him, it would be the old, I'll see you at 3.30. You're fucking with Scotty. Now you get your ass kicked. And I would kick their ass, you know. 
I live in Canada, so there's no knives, no fucking guns, none of that shit. It was always these. And I was pretty good with these. So, anybody that fucked with them, I kicked the fucking shit out, literally. By high school, everybody left them alone because they knew they'd have to fight me. And I'm not tough. I'm not trying to fucking play tough guy here. I'm not. But in grade school, I was tough. <laughs> this kid ended up joining the uh, Canadian forces, serving in Afghanistan. I wouldn't fuck with him now. Um, but, yeah. So, I want to thank my dad. I want to thank Scotty for their service. I'm Canadian, but we spent a lot of time in America, in Michigan and Indiana. Every veteran I see, I thank we were in Wendy's a couple weeks ago to pick my daughter up from my mother-in-law's. And there's a guy wearing a, I was a Vietnam vet hat. I bought his lunch. Not a big deal, really. My wife hates it because anybody we see, I think, she's like, you don't even know if they ever went to war. I'm like, I don't give a fuck if they went to war. They're wearing a fucking uniform. That means they volunteered to go to war. But I bought this guy's lunch and ended up, he did his basic training with my dad in California. We talked for fucking a good hour, hour and a half. Man, how lucky are we to live in these two countries? You know? Or we're free because of what they do. Thank a vet. Every vet you see, thank them. If they're 18, if they're 30, thank them. You know, I had a, a young Marine just come back from basic training. We were in my car a week or two ago. That same trip, actually, when we were coming home, he rear-ended us. I probably got a thousand dollars worth of damage on my truck. He gave me two hundred American. He didn't have his license renewed and all kinds of shit. I think I did a video on it. Um, I don't, I got some fucking estimates and they're so high. They're like a thousand bucks each. I don't even want to send the kid a, a bill. I'm trying to talk to my wife and he's just paying for it because how do you do that to a kid who's fucking ready to die for you, right? But anyway, there's not a lot of point to this video. Um, my one point would be, don't buy this. It's shit. <laughs> of all the cheap dips, it's one of the worst. I'm not a wintergreen guy. That's my thing. I was a winter, I was a Coke wintergreen guy strictly. Because everybody was talking about how good it was. I just said, oh, fuck, I like it. Why switch? But I think of that. That's the whole point of this fucking video today. Remember what happened 12 years ago? Personally... I don't think we should, or I don't think you guys should attack Syria unless it's absolutely necessary. Um, I like Obama saying he's going to, you know, eat to the UN. I think that's the right thing to do. We'll see what happens. But think of that. Think every freaking vet you see ever. Buy him a coffee. Buy him lunch. Whatever you can do, do it. Because... You're free. You can dip. You can spit. Keep spitting black. You spit black because they're willing to put their life on the line. Good God, this shit did you see? Thank a vet. Every chance you get, that's the whole point of this video. Always remember what happened 12 years ago because people died for no fucking reason. People are still dying for no fucking reason. That old fucking saying, freedom ain't free. You know. Freedom ain't free. But we're free. It's crazy. What do you say? What do you say on 9-11? Every video is so fucking pointless on a day like today. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope you're thinking about what happened. I hope you're thinking about what people give up for us. Every time you see a sticker that says, my husband's a vet, or you see a hat that says, I was a Vietnam vet, or I served in anywhere. I'm a Marine, I'm a Army Ranger, whatever it says. Thank that person. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take care, guys.